Hello, I'm Gwen Edwards and welcome to our lives. We're living well with sickle cell. My guest today says he hopes that the book he's publishing will help people cope with this disease. Hertz Nazir is an artist and a sickle cell patient. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay, so the book is an adult coloring book. Mm -hmm. What inspired you? I have a friend who also has sickle cell anemia and her name is Dr. Lakia Bailey, and she sent a challenge out on Facebook asking for a coloring book. Since I am an artist and I could design it, I took up the challenge to try to make something for our community. And a coloring book, you say it's a way to help people cope with the ups and downs and the flare-ups of sickle cell anemia. Well, the thing is, being an artist, that's the reason I, I became an artist, because I deal with so much pain. And when you deal with chronic pain, there's a lot of depression, anxiety, a lot of fears. So art is a, a, a way of getting away from that. It's a way of meditating. So art, art therapy is a thing. So an adult coloring book is, is for all people, not just for children but for people who are dealing with stress. So even if you don't have sickle cell or, or painful illness, as long as you have stress in your life, having some, something to take your mind off the stress really, really helps. Talk about how long you have been dealing with sickle cell anemia. Well, I, I was born with sickle cell, so the thing is it's a genetic illness, so you, you are born with it. So I've been dealing with it since I was a very young child. So. My mom was always a force fighting with me on, on, on my side, but I lost my mom when I was 13, so I've been fighting a long time. And I hope, you know, with this book that I'm able to share my art and I'm able to inspire others to speak out because sickle cell is still killing us slowly, silently, and nobody is really fighting really hard for it. So I just want to put it out there, you know, and make sure that we put a spotlight on this disease. So things can change. I'm hoping that um, that I can send these books to, to children or adults that are in the hospital bed that need to get their mind off the pain some way, somehow. So what I'm hoping for is to start an organization and hopefully I'm able to send not just this coloring book but other, other means of escaping this pain. So right now um, the national SCDAA is planning to give these out at their national convention. And this year. quickly, how to get a copy of the book? Um, there's indigobook.com or amazon.com, so you can find it there. Well, we want to thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And we want to thank you for watching our lives, and we hope to see you the next time.